Pickleball is the fastest growing mm -hmm. sport in the country with almost 5 million people now playing across the U.S. Everybody's talking about it, but how do the health benefits match up to America's other favorite racket game, tennis? A brand new study is breaking it all down, and Dr. Jane is here to serve up the facts for us. Oh, okay. Eva's tried it. I've tried pickleball. You have, not, have not yet. So tennis, I have. Maybe that's another uh, field shoot that we can work Check on. Check it out. You guys, this is interesting data. It's an Apple movement study done in collaboration with the American Heart Association and Brigham and Women's Hospital using Apple Watches or, you know, the, all of the wearable technology that's out there now, comparing these two popular sports. Um, so here's some of the key data points they found. How long do people play on average? Well, if you're talking about pickleball, 90 minutes, tennis, 81 minutes. What happens to your heart rate, let's say, when you're mm. playing. Because that's obviously something that can be easily tracked. Um, pickleball, you are averaging around 143 beats per minute um, as a peak. Tennis, a little higher, 152 beats. We've so talked about that. So does that mean that. tennis is a better workout? I mean, you and I talked about I'm how hard dead tennis at the is. End of I tennis, need like yeah. an oxygen tank when I play <laughs> tennis. So, you know, to me that makes sense. And then they're looking at something subjective, you know, the presence or change in mood, particularly a depressed mood. They found that with pickleball, uh, there was a reduction in about 60% in the perception of a depressed mood. Tennis, about 51%. Now, here are the caveats with these numbers, you guys. Please tell. They seem, seem like pickleball is winning over tennis, but we don't know about the statistical significance in the terms of the way these numbers were analyzed on this study. So it might be, actually it looks different, but 9% difference is not significant. Um, you know, you can't say, well, a tennis court is larger, therefore it's gonna raise your heart rate more. Um, you know what is interesting though? Longevity has been associated with any racket oh, sport. Oh. So you can add table tennis, you can add badminton. I'm interested now. You can, see, there you go. <laughs> so I think the bottom line is, if you like one versus the other, just get out there and do it. You're gonna get benefits with it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.